Hi guys, welcome back to the Fit Fans Campaign, episode four. My name is Mark, and I'm going to be taking you through your hip workout today, which is going to be focusing on our lower body, our quads, hamstrings, glutes, and also our calves. Okay, it's going to work exactly the same as the previous episodes. We're going to be doing 30 seconds active, working as hard as you can, getting as many reps in as you can. Then you're going to be recovering for 30 seconds, but also watching what exercise is coming up next. Okay. So like you've been doing before, give it 100%, get as many reps in as you can safely and watch out for the form because I'm going to be showing you how to do each exercise correctly and safely, okay? We're going to start off with a series of exercises which are going to warm you up and prepare your lower body for the exercises coming up, okay? So give it 100% and really challenge yourself and go for it, okay? First stretch we're going to do is a lion hamstring stretch, okay? So I want you to lie on the floor, one leg stays on the floor, the other leg comes up until you can feel the stretch, your hands go behind the knee, and hold for 15 seconds. Let's go. Cool, and change over. So again, one leg straight, the other leg comes up, 15 seconds, let's go. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to go into a lying quad stretch now. So lying on the side, balance yourself with your elbow, bottom leg goes straight, other leg on top, hold it just above the ankle, and pull in towards you. 15 seconds, let's go. And change around. So your opposite leg goes on the floor, nice and balanced with your elbow, pull just above the ankle towards you. 15 seconds, go. Excellent. Okay, moving on to a hip flexor stretch. You've done this a couple of times before, so you should know what you're doing by now. Front leg 90 degrees, back leg slightly bent. You're gonna hold for 15 seconds. Let's go, back nice and straight. Excellent, and change over. You should feel that in your hip flexor around your groin area now. Now we're going to move into the seated adductor stretch. So sitting in this position here with your soles touching, bring your legs in with your elbows pushing to your knees. 15 seconds. We're going to move on to our seated abductor stretch now. So one leg comes straight, other leg crosses over, and you're going to push your knee in towards you and face the other way. 15 seconds, let's go. Excellent, and change over. Again, cross over, hands on the back of the knee, Pull it into you, face the other way. Excellent. Last one we're going to do is a calf stretch. So a nice big stride, just as if you were taking a lunge. You're going to push, lean into this knee, and push down with your back heel. 15 seconds, let's go. And change over, you should really feel this in your calf now. So push back into your heel and lean forward. Excellent, right, we're ready to go now. 
So the first exercise we're going to do is going to be jump squats, okay? So think shoulder width apart, come down to 90 degrees and explode up. Get as many as you can in, okay? This one's going to target again our quads, glutes and hamstrings, okay? So we're going to start in five seconds, all right? Get as many um, reps in as you can. Three, two, one, let's go. Excellent, guys, keep going. Halfway there, come on. 10 seconds, come on. Three, two, one. Excellent. Right, next one, forward lunges. So, you're gonna start, feet shoulder width apart. Step into the lunge, come down and push back. As many as them as you can in 30 seconds, okay? Nice and balanced, make sure you keep a neutral spine throughout the movement and try not to let your knee touch the ground, okay? So we're gonna start in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice neutral spine, push back on that front leg. Nice and controlled. Come on guys, 10 seconds to go, keep going. Excellent, five seconds to go, come on. Well done guys. Okay, moving on to squat thrusts, okay? So, down on your hands and knees. So you're gonna go out, back in again. As many as you can in 30 seconds. Make sure you use this time now Get the oxygen on board, make sure you recover. So you can really give it your all in the next set, okay? So we're gonna start at five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on guys, keep pushing as many as you can. Seconds. Well done, guys. Excellent work. Next one sumo squats. So, the difference between this one and normal squats, you're going to have a nice wide stance, okay, with your toes pointing outwards. So, nice wide start, and then just going to do regular squats. Coming down to 90 degrees, coming back up. For the wide stance, we're allowing you to focus more on your glutes and hamstrings in this one. Let's go. Good work, guys, keep going. Excellent. 10 seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Next one, Bulgarian split squats. So, one, one foot on the back in the sofa, the other leg in front, just gonna come down and up as many times as you can in 30 seconds. We're gonna do our right leg first, 30 seconds. Then we're gonna switch over and do our left leg, okay? So give it everything you can on this one. It's gonna be hard, but we'll get through it. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you breathe, guys, get that oxygen on board. Excellent. Almost halfway there, come on. Good. Excellent, guys, keep going, come on. Uh, 
and change. Excellent work, guys. Well done. So, make sure you get those deep breaths on board now. Make sure you recover. Do exactly the same, but this time with your right leg at the back, left leg doing all of the work, okay? And we've got 10 seconds of recovery to go. Come on. Deep breaths. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Excellent. Focus guys, keep going, come on. 10 seconds to go, come on. Five, four, excellent. Okay, moving on. We have, uh, we have sofa squats, okay? So, feet shoulder width apart, nice distance away from the sofa. We're gonna come down so our bum touches the sofa, come straight back up, okay? Down and up. Really drive those hips as well, okay? That will engage, engage your glutes a bit more, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. Excellent. Come on, guys. Let's go, halfway there. Three seconds, come on. Well done. Okay, now, last one. We're gonna go into a variation of the plank. You're gonna get into plank position, like so. This time, alternatively, lift your leg up. Keep it nice and straight. One comes up and one comes down, okay? This one's really gonna target those glutes and um, yeah. Give you a real good workout on those. Ready? Let's go. Back nice and straight. Get those glutes working. Excellent, guys. Well done. 10 seconds to go. Come on. Five seconds. Come on. And relax, well done guys. Excellent work there. Now, what we're gonna do for our cool down, is what we've been doing previously, is go back to the stretches we've done at the start. But this time, we're gonna be holding it for 30 seconds to increase that flexibility, all right? So, in 10 seconds, we're gonna start with the lion hamstring stretch, okay? Ready? Four, three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds this time, guys. Just hold it at that point where you can feel the stretch, all right? 20 seconds to go. Well done, guys. Deep breaths now. Use this as your cool down time as well. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and change over, straight away. Excellent, make sure you keep that other foot nice and steady on the floor. You should be able to feel that stretch in your hamstring now. Fifteen seconds. Two. One, excellent. Okay, moving on to the quad stretch. So one leg straight, the other one on top, straight into it, let's go. 30 seconds on each leg. You really have worked up a sweat during that workout, so now you need to use this time to cool down and obviously stretch and allow your heart rate to come back to normal, right? Five, four, three, two, and change over. Excellent. I need to keep taking 
taking those deep breaths, okay? 15 seconds, we change. Okay, hip flexor stretch right now, let's go. Right foot forward. 30 seconds, come on. Really lean into that stretch. Be able to feel it along your hip flexor and around your groin area. Change over. Nice neutral spine, guys. You should really feel that stretch now when you hit flexor. 15 seconds to go. And change in five, four, three, two. One, to get into a seated position for the abductor stretch. Bring those heels in towards you, push down with your elbows on your knees. We're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. So really feel that in your abductors now. Abductors, sorry. Eight, five, four, three, two, one, and change over to the abductor now. So one foot over the other, like before. Pull that knee into her, towards us. Look the other way. Really feel that on the outside of your legs, just below your glutes, which is your abductor. Change over. Pull that knee in towards, face the other way. Just really feel it down the outside of your leg here, the abductors. change into the calf stretch. Last one before we're finished. Done really well today guys. I'm going to lean into this knee, push back into your heel, okay? Feel it really, really in your calf now. Nice neutral spine. Remember it's really important to make sure you cool down, do your stretches, whatever physical activity you're doing, whether you're going for a run um, or going for a cycle, make sure you get those stretches in at the end, yeah? Change over, last one. Really push into that heel now, and lean forward. Fifteen seconds to go. guys once again thanks for having me it's been a pleasure doing the workout with you today um, you should, right now you should have worked up a bit of a sweat you should really feel it in your lower body in your quads in your hamstrings your glutes your calves as well um, another tip I've got for you this week would be to um, check out the my fitness pal app um, if you're starting to take your diet a little bit more seriously and you're looking to calorie count um, use this app to log what food you're eating every day. Um, and once you've worked out your BMR, which is another app you can download, you, it can get, it'll give you an indication of how many calories you need to take in every day if you want to lose weight and you want to start hitting your targets a bit more seriously, okay? So that's my fitness pal. Uh, that's one recommendation I've got for you. Um, also, if you're not doing it already, the traffic light system on the food that you're buying as well, look up for the red, the red signs, which indicate that it's got too much salt or too much fat in um, and the key one is saturated fat you want to try and stay away from that as much as possible okay guys 
But yeah, balanced diet and eating at the same time every day, as well as adding your additional exercise, drinking your three liters of water a day, should get you closer to where you want to be. But um, thanks again for having me today. It's been a pleasure doing the workout with you. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for episode five, where we'll be doing upper body. Remember, stay home, stay safe, keep active, yeah? Thanks again.